technology development is the key to our future. If you look at everything that we want to do, whether it's a heavy lift launch vehicle, uh, multi-purpose crew vehicle, commercial crew, uh, everything we do is dependent on, on improving on the technologies that we have today because we've got to go farther, faster, uh, and we've got to find better ways to do it. Each year we do this. We uh, come to Capitol Hill, bring a little slice of NASA's technology uh, so that we can explain to you uh, just what we're up to, uh, to give you some taste of the many uh, activities that we're engaged in. Uh, and it's a simple message. The message is when we invest in new technology, we invest in NASA's future, uh, but we're also making an investment in our country. What you're seeing here today are not only great ideas that benefit the space program, uh, you're seeing great ideas that have turned into products, services that bring wealth, as uh, that, <laughs> that uh, Congressman Rohrbacher explained, bring wealth to our country. NASA's uh, just started a new program, the Space Technology Program. It's one of several technology programs at the agency, but it's where you find a home for the very early stage all the way through uh, the final stage of technology development at the agency. Uh, we've started, uh, started last year. Uh, we've now got over a thousand projects underway. Uh, it's been a massive undertaking. It was stood up very quickly, and we're proud to say that we've had a lot of early successes, and you're seeing some of them here today. The range of activities we undertake within the space technology program is so broad because we're trying to be broadly relevant across NASA. We're also trying to be sure that we capture ideas, the good ideas, from wherever they may come. Whether they come from small businesses, is the story that is being told here today, or from academia, where I'm from originally, uh, from large businesses elsewhere within NASA and other government agencies. We're casting a wide net for these good ideas. You can pack ten times as much data into a laser beam and send that from Mars than you can with typical radios. That's an exciting idea, not just because it sounds like a little bit of science fiction, but because it's at the tipping point. A little bit more investment will actually get us that capability. That's actually a near-term capability. Yeah. <laughs> 